Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. And although today is Friday, I will probably not release this video until Saturday or Sunday, maybe. Um, so it's either going to be Saturday the 11th or Sunday the 12th. This is the movie classics video. And this is also my fourth attempt at uploading a video. So um, I've already made like several videos. Well, when I say several, I think there's three. There's three out there. And what, the uploading has just been ridiculous because of our winds and storms. And it's just kind of messed with um, our internet. So we ordered a new modem from the company. So when that comes in, I'm hoping that we won't have this issue anymore. But um, until then, I'm just kind of <laughs> going with the flow. And, you know, you'll see it eventually, right? <laughs> okay, so the February movies that were released were um, The Spiral Staircase and Casablanca. And I'll tell <laughs> you guys are so talented. Um, a few of you have sent me some emails with the items that you were making to coincide with the colors of either movie or even both movies. Um, I better turn this down or off. If I don't, it's going to be a problem. And also, um, Facebook. There's so many of you that, that are posting on the Facebook page. So thank you for that. Because I love seeing what you're making. It's so much fun. So I'm going to show you the first one. This is, whoops. I got it in my other phone because Abigail took, um, she took pictures. And I was like deleting, deleting, deleting. Everything's hooked up. All our Apple products are hooked up together. So I got to take her off of my um my pictures because every time she takes like a picture of school or something it pops up on my phones it drives me insane but this is the spiral staircase that's george brent ethel Mer ethel merman ethel <laughs> barrymore and dorothy mcguire <laughs> and the second one of course was casablanca with humphrey bogart and ingrid bergman yeah so nice and then sam is what is it dooley wilson so yeah Okay, so I do have a few, um, just a few things, trivia for those two movies. And then I'll show you the new movies for March. If you, this is just in case you're not part of the Facebook group. The Facebook group, um, I posted it already because I had been, like I said, trying to get the video up and running, but I thought I'll post the pictures, tell you what the, you know, show you what the movies are, and then everyone can start, um, deciding what items they're going to make with the cool colors that are in the movies that I picked. So um, I've got this up. I've got this pulled up here. So let me see. Man, there's so much stuff. And um, so if you've seen The Spiral Staircase, it is about a serial killer that is killing women who have disabilities. Uh, Dorothy McGuire plays a character... Um, that is a mute, her, her name's Helen, and she plays a mute assistant. Some some people say it's a maid. I think it's more than that. She's kind of helping out with um, uh, Ethel Barrymore's character. Oh, what was her name? When and where? Mrs. Warren, Mrs. Warren. So she's helping out with Mrs. Warren in the movie. Um, you know, just doing odds and ends and stuff. So I think it's like more like a companion type thing. But the um so trivia from the movie that i that i thought i would share with you guys ethel barrymore um as you recognize that last name she is or was drew barrymore's great aunt so um drew barrymore's father john drew was ethel barrymore's nephew heard drew barrymore's dad yeah john drew there we go i had almost like did i say that right but yes um and also george brent was I think he appeared in 11 movies with Betty Davis. So yeah, they were really great together. And um, yeah, 11 movies, that's pretty cool. Uh, he was also another tidbit. He was completely white haired when he got his contract with um, with Warner. They had, so at just about every movie you see him in, they, they had to dye his hair black because it was completely gray. <laughs> You can't have a leading man have all gray hair, right? So yeah, he great he he uh, or they dyed his hair in every, in most of his movies. Now what else? Okay, so in the movie, when the killer is lurking like in a closet or he's always behind a door or something, and they like they they um 
do a close-up of the killer's eyes, that's the director. And his name's Robert, and I'm going to probably butcher his last name, Sidemac, Sidemac, S-I-O-D-M-A-K. So, yeah, whatever you want to take from that. But anyway, I thought that was pretty cool that he, you know, so when you see those eyes, it's actually the director of the film. <laughs> it was released in, um, on February 7th, 1946, and it cost $750,000 to make, and it was a box office success. So, um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, that's pretty neat. Um, Dorothy McGuire was always being mistaken for Dorothy McGuire from the McGuire Sisters. They were um, a singing group in the 40s and 50s. Uh, it wasn't her. <laughs> Just saying. And she was married to her husband for, I think, 30, I want to say 36 years, 36 or 37 years um, until his death. So, and they had two children, a boy and a girl. Uh, let's see. Uh, it, it it is a good movie. I mean, I like old black and white movies, and even even the ones that don't have like big stars in them, I still like to look because you know some B movies are kind of cool to watch and and they're interesting and they may not be as um, popular as the A rated movies, but you know if it's an older movie, even some of them are kind of cheesy. Like I still like watching like the Dracula movies when Christopher. Uh, Christopher Plummer, Christopher Lee, um, uh, who else? Bella Lugosi, um, Lon Chaney, Lon Chaney Jr. I love all those movies that they were in. Just, uh, uh, so, so great. Car uh, Boris Karloff. <sighs> yeah, those are all like horror flicks. We were just watching The Wolfman with Lon Chaney. Oh, I love that movie. I love it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we're getting off topic. I could talk about old movies for a while, guys. I'm just telling you. All right, so Casablanca. Let me let me tell you a little tidbits about that one. So this movie was built in 1940. Built. It was shot in 1942. <laughs> the release date. Uh, do we have a release date? Let's see. But -dum -bum -bum. I know it was during World War II, and that caused a lot of issues. Um, for one, well, I don't know where where the the day that it was, um, they, cause they give you like an actual release date. Nope. I don't see it on here, but it was in 1942. The movie was nominated for so many Oscars. I mean, I just, just so many, um, 13 wins. It had, it had, you know, several nominations. It was so great, but they're, they're telling me, and, and I didn't know this. I've seen this movie. I own this movie, right? So what they were telling me, or what this thing is saying, is that he doesn't say, and I had to watch it, he doesn't say, play it again, Sam. He just says, um, play it again as time goes by. You played it for her, you can play it for me. That, uh, you know, to that, whatever. But what's cool, what is really cool is that Five quotes in that movie are the top five quotes in movies like of all time. Of all time, you guys. That's just amazing to me. So let me tell you what they were. Uh, let's see. I didn't think I would have this stuff ready. It was right there. Oh, hold on. I guess if I push the button. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the most famous quote. One of the most famous. I can't say the, but um, they have it in here. Um, and they're, like I said, they're listed. Come on, man. I clicked it. Let's go. It's like taking forever. Um, of all, you know which one it's going to be. Of all the gin joints in all the towns and all the world, she walks into mine. <laughs> and, of course, here's looking at you, kid. Which was improvised by Humphrey Bogart wasn't even in the script. Can you believe that? So cool. I think that's just so cool. And there were um, there were certain parts of the movie because it says many of the actors who played the Nazis were in fact German Jews who had escaped Nazi Germany. So for them, this was kind of bittersweet. It brought back some memories. Um, they said that on set, there were a lot of tears because it's, you know, it was reminding them of what they had to endure and their family and who they lost and everything that was going on at that time because it was shot um, during World War II. Another thing was because it was shot in World War II, they could not film 
on an actual airport. That was a prop. Um, you know, it was it was on a set that they built on there because it just wasn't allowed because, you know, for safety reasons, for one, and because there was a war going on. <laughs> uh let's see oh this one was i thought was kind of interesting um so humphrey bogart's wife at the time she she was just adamant and they fought all the time on the set she was always showing up and accusing him of having an affair with ingrid bergman they were not having an affair um according to this and their co-workers according to this this uh the trivia they rarely spoke Sometimes they would have lunch together to discuss the film because they didn't think it was going in the direction that they wanted it to go. And they thought that the plot was kind of goofy and it was, or, or um, their words, cheesy. I disagree because I think the movie's great. But uh, they they very rarely spoke on the set unless they had to go and shoot, uh, you know, a scene or something. They kind of kept it themselves. But apparently Humphrey Bogart's wife at the time caused a lot of issues and it made him angry and you know right because she would always do it right before it was time to go and shoot a scene with Ingrid Bergman so hmm, I, I thought that was kind of interesting there was another one here uh yeah this one just kind of it just said in the mid 2000s this is what it says in the mid 2000s Madonna wanted to do a remake of Casablanca with her playing the part of Ilsa and um, yeah, Ashton Kutcher playing the part of Rick. It was turned down because at, at every place she went, this says every place she went to try to get this, you know, up and running and have somebody pick it up. Everyone kept telling her Casablanca is one movie that will never be touched, will never be remade. So far, you know, it's been, it's been what, eight, 70 some years and still no, you know, nothing that's been remade that I know of. So maybe that's in a contract or something that states that they can't remake the movie. I don't know. But Madonna, just not a good fit for me. I have tried my best <laughs> to watch some of the movies that she's in and I'm, I just didn't get it. I mean, I'm not, mm, I don't know. Some people are just not good at certain things and some are great at other things, right? I just like her better as a singer. That's all I'm saying. So, um, yeah. Uh, Dooley Wilson was the, he played Sam. He was the piano player. But guess what? He did not know how to play the piano. <laughs> nope. They had another guy come in and play the piano. And uh, Dooley Wilson watched how he played the piano and he mimicked. I mean, he he copied exactly how he would play it as if he was playing it himself. But he had no clue how to play the piano up until that point. And out of all the crew members, or not crew members, but the, um, the, the actors and actresses in that film, he was the only one who's actually been to Casablanca. I find that interesting. I mean, I, I mean, you would think, like, it's Humphrey Bogart, it's Ingrid Bergman. Surely they would have went to Casablanca. They've been there before, right? But when that movie was made, he was the only one, and this is the actor that played Sam, the piano player. He was the only one who had actually been to Casablanca at that time. So hmm, kind of neat, right? All right. So um, that's a little bit of tidbit. Now, let me tell you where I get my information from. It is from the IMDB. That stands for the internet, internet movie database. <laughs> It's what it stands for. If you just look up IMDb, it will show up. You put in whatever movie you want to know about and it pops up. I would be really surprised if they didn't have it because they have so much. They used to be like this little website that was, you know, just starting out. And <clears throat> excuse me, they have really come into like movies, actors, actors. They give you all kinds of information. I love it. I even have it on my phone, which is kind of, you know, scary. But you guys know how much I like movies, right? So, um, yep. So there they are. I'm going to show them to you again. This was February. Spiral Staircase and Casablanca. And I want to thank you guys so much for playing along and doing this, Cal. It, I just, I just love old movies so much. And this is just a way for me to just kind of keep it going. And I love hearing you guys tell me about 
the movies that you watched when you were younger, when you were a kid, with your child, your grandchild, your husband, dad, mom, whoever you watched it with. Because it's bringing back memories. You're remembering, you know, what was going on when you were watching that movie, what you thought about the movie. And um, as you guys know, it was my mom. She got me into watching old movies all the time. And my grandmother, her mom, got me into watching Westerns. Um, I loved watching Westerns with both of my, my ladies in my life. And uh, yeah, my kids are, <laughs> some of them are the same way as I am. So March movies that I picked. Um, I had a lot of you make comments about The African Queen. You said you absolutely loved it. And it is another Humphrey Bogart movie. This time he is starring with, uh, oh my gosh, I just keep wanting to hold this thing and it won't let me. Hold on, let's see. There we go. Catherine Hepburn. Look at all those wonderful colors in there. I have posted this already. I posted it um, a week and a half ago, I think, on Facebook. But I just wanted you to get a closer look at that. You can look it up on a website or you can just kind of screenshot it. So there's the African Queen. And then, oh, one of my favorites. Oh, my gosh. Oh, John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara in The Quiet Man. I've had so many of you say, oh, I watch that every St. Patrick's Day. This is such a great film. I just love it. And look at those colors. Eee! I love it. It's so great. This was such a change for John Wayne because, you know, he's just been known as the Western guy because he was all in, in these great Westerns. The Quiet Man. Oh, those two. And um, he starred in a few more movies with Maureen O'Hara. They're, they're great together. They were, they were really great together. Um, but yeah, so those are the, <laughs> those are the two movies for March and there's some great trivia on those two movies. So I can't wait to share those with you. And remember, if you do not have Facebook, that is okay. If you want to be included in this cow, just send me a picture. And when you send me the picture, you're giving me permission to put it on our Facebook group. Because I'm telling you, there's such a wonderful group of people. Um, we'd love to have you. But if you're not on Facebook, send me the picture and I'll post it on there with your name. Um, any yarn or stitch that you use, you can include that. And I will put all of that information on Facebook for you. So thank you so much for joining um, our Cal. I appreciate it. I've got some great movies coming up. I can't wait to see what you guys are making with March movies, The Quiet Man, and also The African Queen. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you for being so patient. And hopefully you are seeing this on Saturday, the 11th of March. And if it is your birthday, happy birthday to you. If it is your anniversary, happy anniversary to you both. Stay cool if it's hot, stay warm if it's cold, whichever you prefer. Thank you again. Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you when I see you. Have a wonderful rest of your day and a great weekend. Happy hooking. Bye.